What's going on, YouTube? Moose 78 back at you, and today we're going to talk about the upcoming Arizona DLC expansion for American Truck Simulator, as well as discuss a couple other noteworthy items. So going back to a March 31st blog post from SES, they released some teaser screenshots as well as talked a little bit about the upcoming Arizona DLC expansion. They talked about uh, some new vehicles, it looks like some AI vehicles in the game, as well as some new intersections as well. And we've not heard anything about the expansion until just recently, the other day, they updated their blog post with some more screenshots, which included uh, the Grand Canyon, and they talked a little bit about how we're going to be able to drive around that and so forth. Still no release date as to when the DLC is going to be available, but they did go on to state that within the next couple weeks, they are going to do some internal beta testing. And then towards the end of that period, they would like to open it up for an open beta test. And a lot of people are upset that we don't have Arizona right now, and I understand that. Some people feel that there's a lack of content in the game as it regards to the vanilla stuff. When the game was released, we only had California and Nevada, and we only had the T680 and the 579. And a couple weeks after that, we got the W900, and we've not gotten anything since. But honestly, in my opinion, I think the game was released quite a bit too early. Because, like I said, that's the only stuff we got when the game came out. So to me, it kind of has that feel. It's, hey, let's just get something out there to the people. They've been screaming for it for a while. Let's just get something out, and then we'll figure it out after that. My, just my opinion. I could be way wrong on that. I don't know. But it just kind of has that feel to me personally. Now, I'll talk about the 1.2 update, which has been live for a week or so now in a second. But... In the 1.2 update, one of the things they fixed was some of the intersections and so forth in the game. And one of the things that they said that they're working on that's going to be kind of new in the Arizona DLC is intersections. So my hope is that they're starting to fix a lot of the intersections in the game so we don't have stuff like we did in the vanilla release where we had stop signs, traffic lights, things like that on the interstate. Hopefully they've went back and fixed a lot of that stuff. And hopefully they're starting to make a lot more of the intersections a little bit more realistic. So if indeed that is the case, I'm absolutely okay with waiting a little bit longer to get the DLC because I'd rather have it be right on release than have to get it and then wait for a patch to fix a bunch of stuff that's kind of broken in it. But just to kind of wrap up the map talk, all the screenshots I've seen, everything looks kind of promising. It doesn't look too much different than what we've got so far, but promising nonetheless. And as, of course, everyone's aware, update 1.2 is live. Uh, that brought the wheel, ultimate wheel customization to the game. Uh, I'll probably not be getting that DLC. It just doesn't appeal to me. Uh, some of the stuff, some of the rooms and stuff like that look kind of goofy to me. But I do get the fact that they have to appeal to their entire player base and not just kind of the hardcore fans and so forth like myself and some other folks. But uh, in that update, uh, brought some different tires. There are super singles in the game now. There are some different lug nuts, some spike lug nuts, uh, some different chrome options for the rims I believe I saw. And more than anything, it just adds another option out there for the folks that either don't know how to mod the game or just have no interest in learning how to mod the game. So if you've not checked out the wheel customization, go check it out. It's probably worth a look. I think it's only three bucks on Steam, so worth a look nonetheless. And we'll kind of wrap up our discussion here today. Uh, I've talked about it a little bit in uh, some of my Stories from the Road episodes. SCS was over here back in March, over here in uh, the U.S. They went down to Louisville, Kentucky, went down to the Mid-American Truck Show, were down there for a few days. Then they were invited up to the Packer Test Facility up in Washington State. This has my interest peaked more than anything going on in the ATS community right now. And this interests me for two reasons. Number one is they were invited to Packer, and number two, they scanned looks like about 10 or so vehicles while they were there. Now, some of those vehicles were already in game, but it kind of has me wondering, are we getting updated models and more accurate models in future releases? Really curious to see where all that goes. But more than anything, what really kind of got me about all that was the fact that they were invited to Packer. It seems like they've had a little bit of a tough time kind of getting their foot in the door in the North American trucking scene. So to me, having Packer invite them there, to me, that was kind of a big deal. You know, they allowed them to scan all those trucks. They sat down, met with them, talked about some uh, details, things like that. So I really hope they walked away from that three-day visit to that facility with a much, much better understanding of the North American truck scene, how the trucks were, all that stuff. And it looked like a really good visit. Like I said, they did scans. They also uh, recorded some sounds, things like that. 
So hopefully that means better content for us and future updates. <sighs> Cautiously optimistic here, but we'll kind of wait and see, I guess. But that's going to wrap it up for today, guys. Uh, what are your thoughts on all this? Are you ready for the Arizona DLC? Are you willing to wait a little longer if it's more accurate? Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And if you guys like today's video, please give it a like and a share. This helps me out a bunch. And if you're new to the channel, please take a look around and consider subscribing. All right, guys, I'm going to cut out of here. You guys take care, and we'll catch you in the next one.